chef. It smells amazing in here. We're all drooling. What's on the menu for New Year's we Eve? We are doing something special. Braised beef rib with a celeriac puree. Celeriac. I was celeriac. trying to get you to say it first because I keep forgetting that word. Celeriac. Celeriac. So, you got it. Okay, I got it yeah. now. Braised beef sounds yes. phenomenal. Actually, the whole thing. So, where are we going to start? We're going to start with the braised beef because it does take should. a bit of time. Yeah. But this is actually a perfect dish to serve on New Year's because, number one, it's hearty. Yeah. Right? So, it'll kind of keep you warm. It's going to be cold out there. Let's yeah. be honest, right? You can prep this ahead of time. Good. Right? But it has that upper crust, that level of like, oh, sophistication, totally. if you will, right? Absolutely. So this is a perfect cut. This is like a, you know, maybe three inch piece, and it's probably coming in around five or six ounces. Do you uh -huh. want to give me a squeeze of pepper on there, Tracy? Absolutely. We're so gonna she go, is a beauty. She is a beauty, yeah. isn't she? And we're going to go both sides. Yeah. And super heavy. Don't be afraid of it. Same with the salt. I mean, you do a little salt bay action. That kind of thing, but <laughs> go heavy on that and just kind of roll it around. And what we're going to do is we're going to sear that in the pan and put a nice crust on it and kind of get some flavors building in the bottom of our pot. Yeah. Because there isn't a lot going on. It's actually quite simple to get there. But once you put some crust on it like that, you're going to take them out and then you're going to put your mirepoix in. Okay. So what's in our mirepoix? So I know that I, it's always the same stuff, the but same you say stuff. it. It's the same stuff. I should know I call it, it the now. college starter because when you go yeah. to college, every dish is the mirepoix. So it's like <laughs> carrots, the celery, the onions, and then I put a whole clove of garlic in there. And you can see Beautiful. they're starting to come a little bit of color on there. Yeah. So we're going to toss those babies back in. And this is where the real flavor is coming from, Trace. I mean, like... The wine's going to be flowing, but you need to get some into the dish as well. So we're going to go one bottle. One bottle, not one. a cup. It not two listen, cups. If it's early in the morning and you know you're kind of you need something that's just maybe like just shy and you kind of have that on the side. <laughs> just keep it. <a> <laughs> <bit. laughs> some you know your partner comes in and says, "Where's that bottle of wine go?" It's, right it's in the pot. I didn't drink any of it. I swear to you, <laughs> it's all in there. So then what we're going to do is we're going to like let that kind of simmer down, and then we're just going to top the rest of it off with beef stock. And this okay? is all day of the party, you right? You can do you this. Did the, what, what did you do the day before? You could do this day before or oh, day you, of. Oh, you could do all of this day I would before. prefer, and you would prefer, and your guests would probably prefer it if you yeah. do it the day before. I agree. Because you can cook this down, you can get it ready, and then you can put it in the fridge overnight, and you can take the fat off the top. Yeah. Right? The next day, you just have to plunk it on your stove, and you're like, I'm ready to entertain. Yes, because right? who wants the like the anxiety of having people show up, and you're like still trying to prep everything, exactly. right? Exactly. Now, you can do it ahead of time day of but you need three hours oh and okay. if things don't go right what if you need four right now you're pushing that envelope you're like oh so you know get up in the morning and have a little sip of wine and get it ready. And get it, and get it done yeah. yeah get it started so i want to talk to you about this you brought a brain a it's heart. A it's, it, I think it's a heart. It's a celery root. So it's the well, root of the celery. People see that at the grocery store and they're sort of like, well, what do I do with that? It's a little intimidating looking, right? Kind of. But that's only on the outside. You know, just like the rest of us. Some of us we can be kind of scary on the outside, but we're all beautiful <laughs> on the inside. Just take a look inside. at that. And <laughs> give that a smell. It's this aromatic vegetable. It oh, is fairly reasonable. It's good. Right? Yeah. And it's really easy to work with. So I just break this down into cube sized pieces. Okay. Right? I added two apples for a little bit of sweetness. Yeah. Topped it off with milk. Yeah. Simmered it for 28 minutes yeah. until it was tender. 28? 28, 29, somewhere around there. Got it. And then put it in a food processor. Okay. And what you get is Tracy. Like this is silky smooth, secret ingredient. Do hits it with some salt and pepper. Do but... you all know celery yak? Okay, I'm oh. I'm happy you said no. Thank you. I feel a little bit more cultured now. <laughs> It just turns out to be this light, mm. fluffy, aromatic. It's like it's very good. You know, and you know how much I love mashed potatoes. <laughs> I like, do. I love mashed potatoes. You love mashed potatoes. This is going to take away the mashed potatoes, and this is going to bring us something a little bit more elevated. Okay. Okay. Now I also feel on New Year's Eve, a lot of the problems are you you you're hosting, and you really want to go to that plate and put a lot on the plate. Yeah. We really want to pull back from that feeling. Don't do that. Keep things super simple, right? Okay. So this is just two. It, two hand motions basically, right? But if you're cooking for, say, 10 people, that's a lot of hand motions you have to hit to the plate if you're going with a plated meal. No kidding. So we have our celery root down, and then take a look at this magic of television. Oh, oh boy. boy. It's been three magical hours. It's been like, and it's just that red wine's mm. melted down in the beef juice, and it's just, oh. No one's ever leaving your house, Randy. I do have that problem. Right? Yeah, we have to get the get air out. mattresses out and stuff like that. They oh, do not that's go so over. good. And that just kind of falls over that celeriac puree. Now, before we finish this off, it yeah. doesn't look like a ton of sustenance, and you might need your guests to be having some sustenance. Okay. So this is where you play on the sides, right? You get the major sides 
And I got some rapini here that I it's blanched beautiful. the day ahead of time and then just sauteed with some extra virgin olive oil, yeah. garlic and chilies. But that can be taken onto the plate once your guest does their Instagram picture. Right. <laughs> right? So we wanted this We've to be We've got like a two, a two item maximum on the plate. Two plates. item maximum. They look they're gonna beautiful. Go, wow. yes. So we're just going to dress this thing up now. Oh, and that's that sauce stunning. is just going to go over top of that celery. That full and it's just bottle of like, wine. What is going on? <laughs> In your meat. Oh, and then we okay. got to garnish it, right? So we go with some really finely cut chives. Oh, that's Somebody gorgeous. Somebody on TikTok says like 1,000 chives. I don't know if you've heard that before. Oh, is that what they said? Let's that's count them. That's what they said. And then my favorite. A oh, little, it's an antler know. of the reindeer. Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little fresh for strategy. The reindeer sweet. that brought the present. And there you go. Like, that is like, that is sophisticated. That is sexy. That is gorgeous. And that is definitely New Year's Eve. Thank you, Terry. Beautiful. Gorgeous chef. You can find uh, these recipes at CityLine.tv. And Randy actually is going to come back later because we're going to do dessert, right? Yes, we are.